today, I'm going to read the Bible story. Today, the Bible title is 10th chapter. Moses, Moses saw the famous flames of the bush. Exodus 2 to 4. Moses became 40 years old. Moses knew that he was an Israel living in Egypt. One day, he saw an Egyptian. He hit an Israel. He was mad and killed the Egyptian. The Egyptian paro tried to catch Moses. Moses ran away. Time, pa time had passed. Moses got married and became a shepherd. Moses was 80 years old. Moses was sad. He missed the people of Israel and Egypt. Then were slaves in Egypt. Moses was taking care of the sheep. He was sad because of the Israels in Egypt. Moses said to himself, My people are suffering all day because of the king of Egypt. Who can, how can help I help them? He was thinking. Moses was taking care of his sheep one day. Something strange happened. Then, a bush was on a fire, but it was not burning. God spoke to Moses from the bush. Go back to Egypt. Bring my people out of Egypt. You will go into Canaania. Can as I promised to Abraham long time ago. Moses was afraid. He didn't want he didn't want to do this job. He knew that Paro Paro would try to kill him. But God showed mir miracles to encourage Moses. God also let his brother Aaron to go with him. Aaron spoke well. So Moses hmm. Moses congratulatingly went to Egypt. Moses was going to bring God's people out of Egypt. Moses was going to do as God says. Chapter 11, the king said no. Exodus 5 to 12, let God's people go, said Moses. We want to leave Egypt and worship God. Please let the people go now. No, said the paro. God said you must let us go. Said Moses again. I don't care <coughs> what your God says. Said the stubborn the paro. <coughs> Pharaoh made the Israel work called hard, harder. The people of Israel couldn't have enough time to eat. God told Moses 
what to do, what to do. Paro will be mean to you and the people, but don't worry. They will soon know that I am the Lord of Israel. <laughs> Moses said, let God's people go many times, but the king didn't listen to God. No, said the king, your people have to work for me. Terrible things began to happen in Egypt. The longest river in Egypt was changed to blood. Frogs were everywhere in Egypt. Dust became gants and lice. Flies came all over. Can you see this? Like all the water has turned into turn into the blood. Wait a minute. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. After nine terrible disasters, one last horrible thing happened. The firstborn son in each Egyptian family, including the Paro's son, died. Morning was here everywhere in Egypt at the last pharaoh called Moses and Aaron. Go, said the king, take your people out of Egypt. The king was not stubborn anymore. God showed that he is greater than the king. Yeah, in this story, we can know that that Jesus Jesus is the God is greater than the king and second we can know that God can punish us like we should listen to God and serve. God help us if we listen to God. Yeah, today I have read the Bible story. Did you enjoy? Then, bye!